All right. So I have multiplying radicals here because th th there's a reason for that. Up at the top here, I want to write some, I, I, I want to remind you guys of a couple of things um, before we go any further because we're going to start doing mathematical operations with radicals. So I need to remind you of a couple of things. For example, 2x. What do we call that 2? That's the coefficient. And what does the coefficient do to the thing that's right after it? Multiplies. Everyone's cool with that. It's grade 9, right? Grade 8. Everyone's good, yeah? Okay. So now we move along. Now we just did this. 2 root 7. Now what's the 2? It's a coefficient. What does that 2 do to the root 7? Multiplies. Excellent. Okay. What if I said there was a 3x here now? What would 2x plus 3x be? 5x. Cool? No, no, no. We're adding. We're not multiplying. It's just 5x. Everybody good? Okay. So what would be 2 root 7 plus 3 root 7? No. 5 root 7. Just because x plus x stays as x. Right? Everybody with me? Okay. Now, what happens then if I do this? 2x plus 3y. Can you do that? No. 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 2x plus 3y. You can't do it. Why? Right, because this is unlike terms. Everybody cool with that? Okay, you guys are smart kids. If all these rules applied to radicals as well, like they did, then am I allowed to do this? 3 root 7 plus 2 root 8. I cannot do that. Because they are unlike terms. Is everybody cool? Yep. So what then... Knowing now everything you know, what is 3 root 7 plus 5 root 7? 8 root 7. So now you know how to add and subtract radicals because it's exactly the same as adding and subtracting variables. Everybody good? Okay. Now, let's move on to something slightly more difficult. Multiplying radicals. I can only multiply radicals if they, now when I say both radicals, what I really mean is all. But we start with only two terms, right? All the radicals have to have the same index. Okay? Everybody with me? Now, this is where it comes from. When we are working with polynomials, which we're about to do a whole unit on, but you already know this from the ninth grade, 3x times 4x gets me what? What's the answer there? Don't write down the answer. Just tell me what the answer is. 12x squared. Excellent. How did you know it was 12x squared? Because 4 times 3 is 12. And then x times x is x squared. Right? Everybody cool? I have to multiply the coefficients with the coefficient. And then I have to multiply the variable with the variable. Now, in math class, we call that thing an argument. You don't need to know that. I'm just telling you. When you are multiplying a coefficient and whatever is on the other side of it, you are multiplying coefficient and its argument. Coefficients go together. Arguments go together. Everybody with me? So what then, knowing what you know now, is going is 3 root 2 times 2 root 3. What is that answer going to be? Without me even teaching you, even if you didn't know. Coefficients with coefficients. Arguments with arguments. What do you think you get? 6 root 6. Everybody with me? That's multiplying. 
That's how easy it is. Everybody cool? Is there anybody that does not see the relationship between ratio or uh, exponent, regular multiplying, and radical multiplying? Pardon me? The coefficients, go with the coefficients. I'll highlight them. And the radicals go with the radicals. Then you just multiply. Three times two is six. Two times three is six. Everybody cool? Now the key thing to remember once again is they got to have the same index. So am I allowed to do this? Cube root three times square root six. No. Because the indexes are not the same. So no multiplying. Is everybody cool? Okay. So let's do this very first one. Negative 35 square root 24. Now, how did we get that? We took our argument or our coefficients and our arguments. Everybody cool? <coughs> Now, is this done? No. Not reduce. Simplify. 24 is 4 times 6, isn't it? What's the square root of 4? 2. So what comes out here? 2. What's already out there? So this becomes negative 70 root, what do we leave under there? Six. Is everybody good? We'll do a bunch, Amrit. Don't worry about it. Okay. We just did a whole page on this, guys. I need you to look back, think back 10 minutes. You just simplified a ton of radicals. That's all we're doing. You're simplifying the 24, okay? Now, in this box right here, I need to show you something because a lot of kids don't understand this. What is the square root of four? Two, excellent. What is the square root of four times the square root of four? Well, that would be two times, what's square root of four? Two, what's two times two? Four. So what's the square root of four times the square root of four? Four. What is the square root of x times the square root of x? No, just x. This is what bothers math teachers. You all understand it once. How many times have I told you that if it happens once in math, it always happens? A lot. So this, should you should be good with that, right? What is the square root of 77.2 times the square root of 77.2? 77 77.2. Okay? Everybody with me? All right. So let's go to this question. Numbers, coefficients with coefficients, radicands with radicands. What is the coefficient out here that we don't write? One. One. So 1 times 3 is what? 3. And 2 times 8 is what? 16. Would we ever leave it like that? No, we'd simplify. Well, it's 4 times 4, isn't it? So what's the square root of 16? 4. So what comes out? 4. What did we have out there already? So what is that now? 12. Did we leave anything underneath? 4 times 4 is 16. That's the group. Did we leave anything underneath? No. So the answer is 12. Is everybody cool? You'll get there. Now. Yes. <coughs> K. 
Okay, again, Amrit, we just did a whole page on this. It's the square root of 16 is 4. So I bring out a 4. I left nothing under there. Okay? All right, let's go to the next question. It's written differently. Do the rules change? Of course not. Coefficients with coefficients. What is 8 times 6? Negative 48. What is 6 times 12? 72. Would you ever leave it like that? No. 72 is 36 times 2, isn't it? What's the square root of 36? 6. So what comes out here? 6. What do I do with those two numbers? Multiply them to get negative 288. And what did I leave under there? 2. Good? All right. Let's look at this one. Coefficients with coefficients. What's the coefficient that we don't write? 1. 3 times 1 is 3. What's 3 times 3? 9. What's the square root of 9? 3 times 3. So that 3 comes out here. What's my answer? 9. Did I leave anything under there? No. So the answer is 9. Is everybody good? Okay. Look at the next one. It looks different. Does the rule change? Everything we've done so far is based on grade 9 polynomials, isn't it? Right? We all learned this in grade 9. What is this? Don't write this down. 3x squared plus 2x plus 9. What do you got to do with that 3? It multiplies in, yes? Because it's a coefficient. So, do I have the same situation here? What happens with this whole expression? It goes into everything. So what is 5 times 3? 15. Root. 8 times 2? 16. Plus. What is 5 times 2? 10. Root. 8 times 3? 24. What is 5 times 1? 5. What is 8 times 5? 40. Would I ever leave it like that? No. Because I can simplify. What is the square root of 16? 4. So what comes out here? 4. What do I do with the 15 that's already there? Times 4, which is 60. Plus, does 24 get easier? That's 4 times 6, isn't it? So what's the square root of 4? 2. What's already out there? So what do I get? 20. And what did I leave under there? A 6. Minus, what's 40? 4 times 10, isn't it? What's square root of 4? 2. So out comes a 2. What's already out there? 5. So what do I get? Neg no, there's a 5 Four, there. Negative 10. negative 10. And what did I leave under there? 10. 10. Are any of those the same? Are they like terms? No. no. So am I done? Yeah. Yes. Is everybody good? Yeah. I'm stopping here for a reason. I'm going to stop and make sure everyone is good up to here because up to here is the easy stuff. Is everyone okay? Where are you not okay? Because I can't read your mind. We've been through it. What part are you not okay with? You have to know. So tell me. Ask. Yeah. Okay. Ecti, did you understand up here when we went 3 times 8? Because radicals go with radicals. That's why I'm using colors. You get that? Yeah. Okay. So down here, radicals go with radicals. 8 multiplies by 2 to get 16. 5 multiplies by 3 
to get 15. Then we simplify. The square root of 16 is 4. So out came 4. But there was already a 15 there. 4 times 15 gets me the 60. And there was nothing left under there because we took out everything. In this question, we left the 6 under there, so it had to stay under there. We brought out the square root of 4, which is 2. There was already a 10 there, so now I have 2 of those groups of 10 to get 20. Good? Okay. Now, listen to me closely. If you have only been memorizing how... Yes, Amory? You don't have to the square root of 4 is 2 so the 2 comes out I did take this I took the square root of 16 because it's 4 times 4 so I was able to take out a single 4 this one is 4 and 6 the square root of 4 is 2 you are having trouble with this kind of simplifying. So for you, I'm going to do this. 24, 2, 12, 2, 6, 2, 3. There's the group of 2, yes? So out came our 2, leaving 2 and 3 under there. 2 times 3 is 6. Okay? Okay. Now, if you have been memorizing just the way to do this question, then you're going to get here and you're going to say, okay, I need the cube root of 864. Because Mr. Myers says radicands multiply radicands. So 16 times 54 is 864. Now you've got to do 864 divided by, divided by, divided by, divided by, and it's a giant number. Does everybody agree? That's one way you could do it. Here's what you should do. Math teacher's favorite word. Simplify. Whenever you can. At the beginning, at the end, anywhere. So can't I make this 16 the cube root of 8 times 2? Is 8 times 2 16? Excellent. And can't I make this other one the cubed root of 27 times 2. Can I? Is 27 times 2 54? You would want to do it cubed because 20 because of what I'm about to say. Why did I choose those numbers? Does 8 have a cube root? 2. So what's coming out here? 2. What did I leave under there? 2. Does 27 have a cube root? What is it? What is it? 3. So what's coming out? 3. And what did I leave under there? 2. Do they have the same index? So can I multiply? Coefficients with coefficients. What's 2 times 3? 6. Cube root. Radicands with radicands. 2 times 2. Four. Am I done? Yes. Because this is not the square root of four, is it? It's the cube root of four. So I'm stopping. Is everybody cool with that one? Would it work to do 864 and break it all the way down? Yes. Because that way always works. But I find this way to be simpler. So let's look at this next one. Do you want to do 28 times 63 and then simplify it? No, that's a lot of work. But simplifying it now isn't hard, is it? What is 28? You could factor it down. I'm going to write 4 times 7. Why? Because 4 times 7 is 28. Why did I choose 4? Because it has a square root. What's the square root of 4? So what comes out here? 2. There's already a 5 there, so it's 10 root 7. Yes? Great. What's 63? 
9 times 7. Why'd you choose 9? Because 9 has a square root. What is it? 3. So what comes out? 3. What's already out there? So it's 9 root 7. Yes? Okay. What's 10 times 9? 90. What's root 7 times root 7? It's root 49. What is the root of 49? 7. So what comes out here? 7. What was already out here? What's 7 times 9? 63 with a 0. Is everybody good? Sydney. Root 49, because that is root 7 times root 7. Now, I already gave you the shortcut. Root 7 times root 7, we know is 7. I wrote it out here the long way to remind you that you multiply the radicands. Now, when I did this in my, in, on my work, would I have written root 49? No, I would have just written 90 times 7 and then gotten to 630 because root 7 times root 7 is 7. Cool? Everybody good? All right. Now, as I said, I want to mark this assignment today. So you now have all the tools you need to do 102 and 103. And I want to mark them. No, you're not getting till the end of the day. I will check with you at 1145. I would love to be get this marked before the break. If I can't, if we have to go to break and we mark after the break, that's fine. But you should be shooting for 1145. Half an hour should be enough time to do this. I'm letting you work together. You have your notes. Shouldn't be a problem. Everybody good? Everybody good. 102, 103. Okay, we'll come back to working on this. All right, so this first one, you guys can do more talking this time than I was doing in the last one. 10 and 9, 5 and 5. What do I get? 90 square root 25. What is the square root of 25? 5. So that's 90 times 5, which is 450. Everybody good? Okay. What about this next one? Should I do 54 times 6? I can, but that might screw me up. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify this to 9 times 6. What's the square root of 9? 3. 3. So what comes out? 3. 3 times 7 is 21 root 6 times 2 root 6. 21 times 2 is 42. Root 6 times root 6 is root 36. 42 times 6, because the root of 36 is 6 equals 252. Is everybody okay? Yeah. All right. Yes. It, do, it happens to be this time because 54 times 6 is 324 and 324 has a square root. Yeah, but what if it doesn't? Then you've got to do all this work anyway, right? So, should I do 15 times 27? I said should. I don't think you should, because 15 times 27 gets you a big number. But 27 is 9 times 3, isn't it? What's the square root of 9? 3. So I've got root 15 times 9 root 3, yes? Now... 9 root 15 times 3, that's only 45. So I only have to simplify that instead of 375. When I simplify that, it's 9 times 5. What's the square root of 9? So what comes out? 3. What was already there? 9. So what do I get? 27 root 5. Now, Amrit, you might be happy doing the big numbers. Do that. Don't change because you think I want you to. I don't care. If you want to simplify 375, then simplify 375. This one. 
Check. That's going to be 12 root 900. Mr. Myers, you said always simplify. Again, you have to know your audience. This question, 20 times 45, gets me a perfect square. So I can go ahead and do it. I don't need to simplify first. Because the square root of 900 is what? 30. So it's 12 times 30, which is 360. Does everybody see what I'm saying? Don't get locked into a way to do a problem if there's an easier way to do it, right? I don't want to simplify 375 because I don't want to do that many divisions. But I don't mind simplifying 900 because I know automatically that it's 30. So even though I would usually not do this, I checked first. Oh, 20 times 40. Oh, it's perfect square. I am going to do it this time. Does everybody understand? All right. So what about this one? Am I going to do 16 times 4 times 2? That's a big number. I don't want to deal with that. So I'm going to simplify now. But it's cube roots, yes? So this is 8 times 2. What's the cube root of 8? 2. So what comes out here? 2. What was already there? What was already there? What was already there? So what do I do? No. Multiply. 2 times 3 is 5. 6. Cube root 2. Does 4 have a cube root? No. 2 cube root 4 and 2 cube root 2. So what's 2 times 4? 8. What's 8 times 2? So I have cube root 16 and 6 times 2 is 12 times 2 is 24. Now, can I simplify there at all? 16 is 8 times 2, yes? What's the cube root of 8? <coughs> cube root of 8. 2 comes out. What was already there? What do I do with them? 48 cube root. What did I leave under there? 2. Now, here's where it starts to get a little funky. We got to do both things. 2 times 2, 4. 3 times 7, 21. Minus 2 times 4, 8. 3 times 5, 15. Simplify, can you? No, because this is 3 times 7, no pairs. This is 3 times 5, no pairs. So I can't simplify. Okay, add them. Can I add them? No, because these are unlike terms. So that is done. It is a very big problem in math class for math teachers because you guys don't know when you're done. You keep trying to apply steps when you're finished. It would kind of be like this. I'm going to walk out of this room. <laughs> You understand? That is what you are doing when you get to a problem like this that is done and continue to try to do math to it. You are making it wrong. Does everyone understand? It's not enough to know just how to do something. You also need to know when you're at the end of it, right? When you can't do any more math to it. You know that you can only add radicals that are the same radicand. So you can't add them because they're different radicands. It's not multiply. And you can't simplify because 3 times 7, there's no pairs. 3 times 5, there's no pairs. So when you can't do anything more, you're done. What about this one? Multiply. Root 48 minus root 16. Can I do that subtraction? 
No, because they're different radicans. So one of the things that I could do, I can't do right now. The other thing Myers says to do all the time, or your regular math teacher says to do all the time, is simplify. Do those simplify? Yeah, because that's 16 times 3. And that, what is the square root of 16? 4. 4. So what's the square root of the 16? You said it's a 4, so out comes a 4. 4 root, what did I leave under there? 3 minus 4. Can I do any subtraction there? No, because there's no like terms. I, I'll do these four. You come back after the break. You check them, make sure you're right. Then I'll give you 20 minutes to do, make sure 103 is done. Because that's the one we'll do for marks. So one thing I don't understand right off the bat is if you go up a little bit on question uh, down you get it there, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what, what do you mean by you can't subtract? Like, okay, so I understand how you got the answer, right? But, like, one thing I don't understand is that, like, whole minus in the process, why can't you minus? What do you mean there's no, like, terms 4 and 4 are like, right? That's a coefficient. Mm -hmm. This term here, at D, yeah. is oh. 4 times the square root of 3. This is just 4. You can't do the subtraction because the square root of 3 doesn't actually exist. Like the, like the first five questions follow this simple method of you get that one. Yes. Word, that's right. But then after that I got confused because I didn't know what to do. Because like but you do it. know what to do. Could you do this? Yeah. So no. That's what you know. Because that's an x and there's no x there. Okay. This is a, co a number multiplying an argument, right? Yeah. Coefficient times an argument. Isn't this a coefficient times an argument? So aren't these mathematically the same thing? Yeah. Yes. So if you recognize that you can't do anything here, why do you not recognize you can't do anything there? They're the same thing. I don't know. It's just like written differently. Like in my eyes, so just, it's kind of confusing. But it isn't. It's four times the root of three. This is four times x. Yeah. They're the same no, thing. I don't understand. That's just like the way I've been taught in the past. I don't know when you're supposed to finish and when you're like, yeah, that's when you have more steps to it. Yeah. That's what are the only steps you can do with radicals? You can add or subtract them. You can multiply them. Multiply you can multiply them. Or divide them. Or No, I haven't taught you division. Okay. You can add or subtract them, multiply them, or simplify them. Yes? Yeah. Okay. So when I get to here, I've done a bunch of work. I say to myself, self, can I add those? No. No, because they're not like terms. So one of the things I can do, I can't do. I can't add them. Which automatically means I can't subtract them. Just add and subtract are the same thing. Yeah. Right? Automatically. That's it. Okay. I can multiply. Well, that's not multiply. Yeah. So I can't multiply. So that's it. All right. I'm going to simplify. Well, it doesn't get any simpler. So if I can't do add, you multiply, know, or simplify, only, I must be done. The only thing you simplify in these articles are just like the, the roots, right? The big numbers, the big if you can. If you can. But, but you not always can. Yeah. So like, for example, three, you can't simplify it, right? Yes. This one up here, no, not this one, uh, this one, you were stuck. Yeah. I'll so when see. I get to here, you say to yourself, that was 4 root 15 minus uh, 8 root 21. So you just say, okay, can't add and subtract them. They're not yeah. like terms. Yeah. Can't multiply them because there's no multiplying to do. Yeah. Can't simplify because that's 3 times 5 and that's 3 times 7. No pairs. Yeah, okay. So I'm done. I get what you're saying. What do you mean it's like pairs? Right, thank you. Like it's 3 and 3? Three? Yeah. And 4 and 4? Yeah. So if this was, for example, one, if this was 63, yeah. then it would be 9 times 7, right? Yeah. And that has a square root, so I would bring out a 3. Yeah. But you don't like to do it that way. You factor. So 63 was 3, yeah. 21. Three, seven. There's your pair, so out comes a three. Yeah. So if you got to there, they don't add, because they're not like terms. They don't multiply, because there's no multiplying, so I'm going to simplify. Oh, 63 simplifies, so you would do one more step. You have to do one more step? Yes, because that's not done, because 63 gets simple. Okay. Okay.
What's the result you need? This stuff? Uh, it's going to be on just simplifying. And then I'm giving you those exponent ones to try and fix your exponent quiz that you guys bombed yesterday. But, of course. Yeah. Navnor. I've been over this. That's a coefficient. Yeah. So that's root 10 times 4, so it's 4 root 10. Just like if I had x on the outside and a 4 in there, what would I have? 4x. So what do I have there? 4 root 10. Okay. Okay? Okay. That's why I showed you guys the variable thing. That's what I keep saying is the problem with math. Right? We show you guys that variable, and then we don't go out of our way to tell you that it always works. Well, I do, but I'm not every man. Number nine, if you have what? Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's the same thing. I just don't like to op open an expression with a negative number if I can avoid it. No. Oh, my God. 
Couldn't be more wrong. Oh. Oh. Six. Oops. You have in that first question. I think it's six root two eight eight, right? Negative six root two eighty eight, right? Okay. So negative six root two eighty eight. Two eighty eight is one forty four times two, right? What's the square root of one forty four? So what comes out? 12, what's 12 times six? 72 with a negative. And what did I leave under? Two. Yes, I will leave it up there. There it is. Okay, guys. 
Eyes up, please. Make sure you have done 8, 9, and 10 correctly, and 11. The answers are highlighted in bleu. The reason those are highlighted in yellow is to show you that they are like terms, so you can work with them. For this one, you are allowed to have negative root 5 plus 6 root 2. I just don't like to start with a negative if I can avoid it. Just because it's ugly, not because it's right or wrong. Can everybody do this? All right, now, page 103 is 13 questions. It should take you about two minutes a question. Same way you do number one, man. Five times six is, are there any pairs? So it doesn't simplify. So it's done. This is what I'm talking about, right? It's already done. I want to be marking this at 1230. If you do not have it done at 1230, as per our discussion earlier, you are not making your deadline. So what should happen? At 12.30, at 1230, I want to do, we're only going to get the one quiz today. I want to do this quiz. Would you rather do that? Do the exponents quiz today, that's fine. Yeah. yeah, but you got you got to do them both anyway. We'll do it tomorrow. Okay. All right. So we did not get to our review today. That's frustrating. All right. So tomorrow we're going to do our quiz today. Tomorrow. <laughs> Number nine on page one oh three. I would assume it's division. Number nine, it's plus and minus. No.
So you would multiply five by two and five by five, right? Mm hmm. So uh, root ten plus root twenty five. What is the root of twenty five? The root of twenty five is five. So the answer is root ten plus five. Okay. Done. That's it? Yes. Okay. Oh. And when it's not a square root, I just leave it right. Like you don't add it. That would be five root fifteen. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to do the first five up here because you already should know how to do them. You can mark your own work. Give yourself two marks for everything. Two marks for everything. I don't need to do this work. I'm doing it in my head. If you have the right answer, you must have done the work right. Okay, I can't. Okay, like, I understand it was kind of loud. Give yourself two for everything. Uh, that is, now I've lost myself. That is three times one and a half, seven, eight, root three. Yeah. If you forgot to simplify, you get one and a half.
Give yourself a mark out of 26. Now, obviously I went through that very quickly because I want to give you as much time as possible to do the exponents quiz that you blew up yesterday. It is way shorter, but it is slightly more difficult. Still only uses the same rules. Okay. Uh, give yourself a mark. When I give you your quiz, you're going to write your mark out of 26 on it. Okay? Now, does, but before we go on, does anybody have any question about this? I showed the work I did. Right? You can go ahead and start your review if you want. Which is on the, whatever the next page is. 101. I don't know. Uh, no, one oh. Oh no, you can't do the fractional exponent. But you could go ahead and flip out to. Um, one fourteen, and start on what you know there. If you do better, if you don't, that means you bomb two exponents quizzes in a row. You better practice up on your exponents for your test, right? All right. Did anybody want to ask about any of these? Like I say, I showed the work. You shouldn't have too much trouble. Avian, number 10, okay? So I'm going to erase it all and show you what I did. So I simplified. 24 is 4 times 6, yes? Out comes the square root of 4, which is 2, yeah? There's already a 4 out there, so I get negative 8 root 6. Are you cool there? Okay, now, here you could simplify now or you could simplify later. Because they're both 63, let's simplify now. What's 4 minus 3? 1. So I only have 1 root 63 there, don't I? 63 is 9 times 7, yes? What's square root of 9? 3. So what comes out? 3. So I have negative 8 root 6 plus 3 root, what did I leave under there? 7. Okay, that's it. Good? I. Right. Anybody else? Going once. Going twice. Going thrice. Sweet. Okay. I'm going to stop recording because that is where we are stopping for the day.